Hey everybody, it's me, Carissa. I am here today with one of my absolutely new favorite sets, the Taco Fiesta set. This is super cute. And since it is carrying over into the new catalog that comes out very, very soon at the beginning of May, I wanted to make some projects with it for you guys to see. This one is going to be in my super simple style, easy for anyone to do, beginning stamper or not. Um, so I'm going to do a card based cup crumb cake. And then after that, I am going to take a piece of cherry cobbler and adhere that. I'm going to adhere that to the back with my stamp and seal. This is super adhesive, so you don't need that much of it. I'm also going to start adding a Stampin' with Stella playlist to my YouTube channel for all of the cards that I use my Wink of Stella on because we know that I use a lot of Wink of Stella. And this way, if you guys are looking for new ways to use that, you will be able to find it. I'm going to start off by splattering my background with the blends. If you haven't seen this done, it is a super fun technique. I'm going to use my Dark Poppy. You take the felt tip end, your bone folder, and just splatter the outside. If you have a stamped image on here that you're going to want to keep clear, you can always cover it with a post-it, but I like a little bit of splatter on all of the parts. And then I am going to mount all of the bits of our taco friends that we have here onto some stamps. Today, I'm going to use the burrito. I'm going to use the little pepper. I'm going to use, let's see, the avocado. And I'm going to use the cactus. Then we're going to need all of their little faces. I'm going to use almost one of each. I've got four. There are five face options. And then for my sentiment, I'm going to use the You Spice Up My Life. With long skinny ones, I like to lay them down so I can make sure that I get them nice and flat. Then I'm going to stamp all of these directly on my card base in Memento. Alright, stamping these, I'm going to eyeball them. You want them pretty centered, but they don't have to be exactly centered. I'm gonna do the middle two a little higher so there's space for my sentiment. I'm also going to do a second one of these to cut out. Avocado and then cactus. Now with the cactus and burrito being a little longer, I'm gonna have the sentiment in the middle between the middle two. Still in black. All right. 
right? And then we're gonna add their faces. I want my pepper to be the one that's winking since our sentiment is you spice up my life. And then let's see, it will give a smile to the avocado. We'll give a smile to our burrito and a mustache to our cactus. Then, if you all know me, I color most of my images with Wink of Stella. So I'm going to do that really quickly. To get a couple different shades, I'm going to mix Stella and in ink as well as use some blends. If you don't paint with Stella a lot, I like to use one of my bigger blocks and then color on it with markers or use my stampin' pads and then get some onto a Stella and then onto here. So we'll start with our chili pepper. I'm gonna grab a red marker. Color a little red on here. Mix in some Stella. and paint. Anytime I am layering an image over an image, I am also going to do the edges of the base image so that if you can see it, there's a little bit more dimension. And then since we're not gonna use this, I'm gonna use that to wipe off some of that red. Then for the top, let's go in with Granny Apple Green. If you squeeze your stamp pads, you'll get some ink in the lid that you can use. I'm gonna do that for the top of this. as well as for my cactus and my lettuce. That way we've got some bright green in here. Painting with Stella is one way that takes a super easy card, just gives it a little bit of extra dimension little fancier. I'm going to try not and get on the mustache and then at the end I'm going to go back over the eyes to make sure that you can really see them since they have been sparkled. This is also part of why on these images, if you splattered in there, it doesn't matter. A lot of it will be covered up with the coloring. There we go. We're gonna wipe some of that off. Then for the avocado, I'm thinking we do a very, very light old olive. If you're going from a lighter green to a dark green like this, you wouldn't really need to wipe it off, but since I want the avocado a really soft green, I did. Go on the inside, keep it nice and light. You can also paint with ink refills if you don't like to get the inside of your stamp pad dirty. Both of them work. I just put inker straight on here and then you can make the re-inker as light or dark as you want. I'll probably do a video 
with one of those. On some cards, I will use marker, ink pad, and re-inker just to get a couple different shades of the color. And then for the edge, let's go in there with early espresso, nice and dark. And since early espresso is so dark, didn't squeeze that hard enough. You don't have to wipe off the green. It will just mix in with this ink. Once you get this edge, I'm going to get the center as well, but a little bit lighter since we've used a lot of the color on the edge. And then for the tortilla color, I'm going to scoop some of this brown onto here. And then I'm going to get my Daffodil Delight marker. Do a little bit of yellow next to here, and we're going to mix those together. It'll give us a softer yellow brown. Pour in here. A little bit more tortilla colored. And again, there's so much sparkle, you can't always tell what color it's supposed to be. All right, and then with my basic black Stampin' Right, just going to go back in here, make sure you can see the eyes. Just trace over the top. And then I'm going to speed this up for a second so I can fussy cut our chili with the Stampin' Snips. This is going to be super simple to finish. We're going to adhere this to the back with our stamp and seal. I'm just going to do the center. And then again with the Stella, because I like to pizzazz things, I am going to trace the metal border. Then a dimensional on the chili. And you're done.